Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome to a North Wales side by side video. This is the third video I'm making tonight. Whilst I've got the scanner out. And in this video, I'm going to do a hybrid battery health check. It's my GI Yaris Sport with 27,077 miles on it, 16 months old. And I'm going to do it in real time for you to see what I do. So I've selected, let's go back and I'll show you again. I've gone system selection and I'm going to go all systems because I want to go to the high voltage battery. Let it load. I know I've got no faults in it. Because I've already done a full code scan on the car. But I will show you that there's no faults in this computer. No trouble codes. So I'm now going to go data stream. And let it load up. Every single piece of information that's stored in the hybrid computer. I'm going to select battery voltage. And I'm going to select hybrid EV battery blocks. And I'm not I'm not going for average voltage. I'm going to go voltage. I'll also do an internal resistance check in a little bit but for now we'll just do the voltages so i'll check every single block of cells in this battery there's 48 blocks Now that's all the battery blocks selected. The top one I'm looking at there is the 12 volt battery. That's just with the car turned on, ready to drive. And that's the voltage that that battery is running at with the car idling. That battery's being charged by the inverter under the bonnet. So as you can see here, that's the voltage in every single battery cell in this battery. 3.63 and there's pages and pages and pages of information so let's go through every single page of information 3.63 that one's there 3.62 not a problem there's a couple of 3.62s in the pack 3.63 that's 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 normal There's no indiscrepancies on that. 3.62, 3.63 is quite a normal reading. Let's just go to the last page and I'll show you on the screen how much charge is actually in the hybrid battery at the moment. I'll get that up on the screen now, on the big screen. So as you can see, 
3.62, 3.63 is the voltage all the way through the blocks. And that's with a battery that's only half charged. My hybrid battery is only on... Yeah, it's only got a half charge in it at the moment. So that's the voltages. So if I come out of that screen, unselect everything that I selected to do the battery voltages, I'll now show you the internal resistance of all these cells. And I'll have to go through the entire process of selecting internal resistance. I'll speed this, uh, this bit up. Right, I've selected now all the cells for internal resistance. The lower the resistance, the healthier the battery cell. So we've got zero ohms in every one of them cells which means every cell is a healthy cell. Second page, every cell is a healthy cell. Every cell, again, healthy cell. Every cell is reading zero ohms. Now, the only time I'd be worried about a cell is if I had a resistance reading on that cell. That's how you identify which cell is going bad. So we've got a perfectly healthy lithium ion battery pack in this Yaris with its 27,000 miles on it. There's been no degradation of the battery pack. This battery pack is in perfect health. This is basically what Toyota do when they do a hybrid health check on your car. They check the voltages in each cell and they check the resistance in each cell. And that's all I'm replicating here. So I know I've got no worries with my hybrid pack. And I know when this goes in for a service, it's going to come out with a clean bill of health. I do apologise, this has been a little bit of a long video. But I do hope you find it's informative. And it gives you some idea of the block voltages and the internal resistances of all the, the blocks and how Toyota's system checks each individual cell, each individual block for voltage and resistance to say whether or not you've got a healthy hybrid battery or not. Because this is how they will identify if you've got a bad pack. Once again, Please consider subscribing to the channel. Please consider liking the video. And I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.